Hi, my name is N.K. Jemison. I am the author of the Broken Earth trilogy, including The Stone Sky, um, for which we are up for some awards. Hi, I'm Robin Miles, and I am the narrator of the Broken Earth books. Uh, we are thrilled to be up for the Audio Award for Best Science Fiction Novel, and also for Best Female Performer. So, mm -hmm. fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. One of the things I found most fascinating mm -hmm. was the second person position, hmm. uh, narrating from the second okay. person, because it almost never comes up. I think one time in my life I've ever come across that. I mean, it's not common, but it's it's difficult to use um, in a way that doesn't sound pretentious. Yeah. And I think, you know, because of that, people sort of shy away from it and assume mm -hmm. that second person doesn't work or second person itself is the problem, but really it's just a question of like how you use it and yeah. how you convey it and whether the character is, yeah. uh, whether the, the narrative is something that it actually sort of fits. That's what um, I learned. Oh, oh, okay. We so got to that and, and I went, oh my God, the second oh. person thing, it really works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it's But nice. I hadn't seen it work before. Oh, okay. See, the thing that, that caught it for me or the thing that made it work for me was um, Italo Calvino's If on a Winter's Night a Traveler. Um, mm. And also I'm a giant role-playing video game nerd. So ah, I'm used to, okay. you know, kind of being put into the you position. You do blah, blah, blah. Right. Um, okay. And so it doesn't feel cool. quite as foreign to me, yeah. but it's really just, it's like any other literary form. It's just a matter of how you use it mm -hmm. I mean, and familiarity with it. I okay. remember... We went into the studio on the first day, mm -hmm. and I had the microphone in front, and there are the two positions, you know, third person. It was actually all, all three mm -hmm. get used, first person, mm -hmm. second person, third person. By the third book, yeah. And I wanted it, I thought, how do we orally mm -hmm. create a feeling? Mm -hmm. And so it became leaning, literally leaning into the microphone mm -hmm. as if I were speaking into somebody's huh. either from within their own head uh -huh. or like... Uh, Almost like on a phone, you know, or, or or in a very intimate, mm -hmm. very close to them mm -hmm. position, mm -hmm. um, and I found I loved it yeah. because I could get even further into the mm. intimacy hmm. level. I had not ever attempted to use second person before I started writing the fifth season. Basically, I, I experiment whenever I'm writing a new book with different voices, different tenses, different viewpoint characters, mm -hmm. um, until I find something that sort of clicks. And I tried this, and it was just sort of like a random cockamamie, why not? Mm -hmm. um, and it suddenly clicked. And there's a, a, there's a thing that I discovered while I was working on it, which is that second person is sort of this weird combination of intimate and distant. And, and I felt that when I was listening mm. to your narration, I didn't feel it while I was writing it. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I think I do. So, because the human voice is going to add some mm. an unseen thing. Yeah, when you're saying that you lean closer to the, to the microphone, I could, I didn't know that's what you were doing, um, but there was, a, there was a feeling of closeness that wasn't there when I hear it in my head, in your if head. that makes sense. I always feel that my job is to put my body and my mm. voice in service to mm. the author and the text. Mm. Okay. And after a certain amount of time reading, mm -hmm. the length of your thought mm. must become the length of my thought. My, I ha my body has to say that's mm. the length of my thought now. It always takes me a few pages, mm. um, maybe a couple of chapters, depending on how different in rhythm and speed um, the book and the author is from me but mm -hmm. my job is to just give my body over mm -hmm. um, and it's mm -hmm. funny you would think mm -hmm. spending six hours a day mm -hmm. in front of a microphone mm -hmm. the first thing I'd want to do when I take a break is go in a corner and be quiet <laughs> right I would think but I'm a giant introvert so <laughs> I always want to do that okay all I want to do when I take a break from something that I've completely given myself over to mm -hmm. is go in a corner and talk because I want to hear my thoughts and I want to talk in my rhythm oh. and in the length of thoughts. I just need to reclaim myself for a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel okay. Right. Yeah. And right. then I can right. go back to it and completely give myself to it again. That's kind of similar to how I feel when I write. When I'm writing, I get, I am, I am the character <coughs> for the period that I am doing their narration. I'm inside their head. Um, I'm thinking as they're thinking or speaking as they're speaking. Um, but I don't ever feel any particular need to kind of 
separate out, I guess, because I am an yeah. introvert and internal processor. So the instant that I stop writing, the the other voice stops, and then I become myself. I don't have again. to. I don't have to exert it. 